So we're ready to go then for the second half, which will be started by Ronaldo Abrahams from Diamantfeld. The fullback taking the kickoff, and that's one of the reasons why it's a perfect one into the sun. Advantage. I think there was a little knock on there, so referee is playing advantage. Advantage over. Now, can Nootkov start off like they did in the first half? So, Sidestepping from floor half mini. Got them into a, a good field position. Oh, I think he isolated himself though. He definitely has. It's been turned over. <laughs> counter racking, big counter racking coming from Luan Dawi. And he stayed on the other side. <laughs> oh, you can't fault the man for the effort. All he's keen to play. And the reaction skills are great. The boy was on the wrong side, but the clean out from the counter rack. He comes in from the back, straight through the gate there, cleans through, ball gets kicked out. Now he's looking around, he says, thank you very much, let's play. <laughs> Bit off size, man. <laughs> yeah, he's debating it. No, it wasn't off sides. Oh, he's the experienced man in the Craven Week side last year. Oh, but he's been good, play he's been playing very well. All the time going for the steals and those breakdowns. Can show it, sees his, he can see his experience of his played in provincial level at school. It's good for him. And the rest of his pack as well have really done a good job. And this fella, Dion van Sale at fly half, also with three successful kicks at goal today. This one probably at the extent of his range. Is he going to get the distance? He's slightly into the wind too. No, it's going to be well short. Red Cops seem very intent on running with the ball. When they get the first opportunity, that's what they do. And that's, Seven I think, blue. what makes them Rush such it. a dangerous outfit to play against. Taken back. They seem to have extra men. So back it goes. Change of direction from Van Sale. That's not a bad kick at all. So Diamond felt playing for territory on this occasion. Uh, Ronaldo Abrams, very informative decision there. And he was accurate with his execution, getting back and turned the half. And you can see he put his head down, he saw the space, bisected the two players on the on the defensive line. Great play from the fullback. Excellent jump there from uh, Tulani Njenje. Seen that Nico Kroff on the side of the scrum for Nordkarp has been very industrious today. Kick there from uh, Jacques Nell, rather, um, yeah, Jacques Nell. This is great running by Abrams. He's not a big fella, but just shows you if you are slight of foot, a fleet of foot, <coughs> make a real difference. Quick through the hands from Fitzal. This is good running now, and the straightening up. The pass wasn't that great. The referee says it went forward. Good to see that Diamantfeld are, are doing exactly what Nordkarp did to them in the first half, creating extra space and overlap that they could utilize it. It's an indication that they're getting better quality ball as well. Oh, they're starting to be very competitive now and getting the ball. The confidence starting to show, especially with their lead. And it was well done here from Abrams, sporting that. There is a, a forward in front of him, uses his feet. A footwork was great. Retention of that ball and then Bye. creating that space on the Let's outside. Go. Just the execution of the pass has let them Australia. down. Holtzhausen with a pick up at the back. And keeping an eye on him as well. He's a dangerous runner. This is uh, Luan Muller. Mani. Charged down. Oh, I thought it might be anybody's race, but it's not because uh, it was Jim Bruvé who got back very Protest quickly good. from Red Carp. That is the time the turning. Okay, Fritte. Diamantfeld yeah, taken quickly. Everybody expecting them to kick a goal. I think that might be held up. Yalla. Yalla. Oh, it's held up. Yalla. 
but the tide has turned definitely. Bit of blood coming from the scrum off Jim Fancel carries the ball very well to the line. That his eighth man got underneath them. Opposition number eight. Yeah, Holsausen getting underneath the ball and holding him up. But the momentum has changed. Demontifel very positive now. They're in the 22. They do have an opportunity just outside there. Boy. And the scrum, there's a bit of an scrum. opportunity yeah, on the blind one. side. Well, they need a decent scrum. Well, they uh, didn't really get that. Jock from Sale has performed some miracles okay, in this blind. match. So they're off that. at the moment and Welsh on in his place. It's a blood replacement. Use it! So Diamantfeld using the power of their forwards, uh, taking Nordkarp on in that respect. Use it! Nordkarp with a really powerful pack of forwards. That's three! Movement's a little bit lateral at the moment, but can they spread it? Can they find some space? That's brilliantly well, that's good, stolen. Absolutely brilliantly done that. It's uh, once again, Dimitri Titis. He's having a full game, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Very brave still there from the backline player. That's a more music, music. Yeah, part of the difficulty, he won the ball, but the ball was off the ground. The referee's 100% right. Music. It was a more and on low ball. they were required to use it. Oh, a great challenging line coming from Jacques now, but there was Mini. All the rights to the ball. First man who got there, gave it a bit of daylight, but now he was hauled up. It's great. Yes, counter play from Demontefeld, holding him up, turning over the ball that they did turn Boy. over. And they get a chance now, an opportunity, middle scrum in the middle of the field. One right in. Lux Koza penalised for scrumming in this for the second time in the match. And this is a near popover for Dion Vinsale. While scrumming in, you can see the angle of, of his shoulders. His back is turned towards the other touch line. Meaning that he was all scrumming straight. Lax Koza. But Roland Abrams came then and he came with his cool head. He said, no, we'll take a penalty. Let's go for the poles, just in front of the poles. He goes through the same routine, Dion Fonsal. And that's the right thing to do. You might say, well, why don't you just kick it over? It's straight in front. No, stick to your routine. He knows what it is. Goes back, deliberate. He's three steps, and over she goes. So he's got a good rhythm, has Dion Pinsel. And it's an important scoreline for them, too, because, uh, Capita, you spoke about Gabani in the first half, about Nutkop making some basic errors at the breakdown points. Well, there's another one. And to Montreville. Good value for the lead. They convert every time they get into the 22 of North Cup. Backwards is blue. Contest good. Jaco Kotsa says uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Has that ball been stolen by North Cup? Yep, it has. Get back, blue. Advantage of sight. Number five. Lux Kaza looking to Hands make off. up for his indiscretion as well at that scrummage. And again, they've got an, an extra man, but it's gone forward, I think. They're going to come back a very long way. Pass. The pass was forward, but I think there might be a penalty that they were playing advantage for. Five blue offside. And just uh, in the distance, we've got our Daffy Duck on the field as well. So it's <laughs> really giving him the bird, eh? <laughs> Excitement, yeah. Guys, the ref, thanks. Baller. So it's coming down a penalties as things stand at the moment. And no successful kick at goal at all today from the clock. The way they sport to the space on the outside. There's an offside coming in from the number five there from Demonteville. JD Fouri, but the forward pass and the support play. This was a spectator's try. Whistle already had gone. And this man celebrating it. But if you stay around a bit. He doesn't realize that it has been a try. And uh, now they do get a chance, though, to convert. Yep. He's missed three. 
successful with none. Could this be his first? It's a vital kick. No, nope. it's swung past the left hand upright. It was a very forceful strike, almost overcompensating for that drag that he wants to get the ball back. Maybe he started off his, his ball from the outside of the right hand upright. Maybe in that way he might have bisected the poles. Two after line, two of it. Wonder who else can kick in this side. Yeah, I suppose uh, there must be somebody else as well. So good on the captain to keep going with him, but at the moment they desperately need to break Use that six-point gap. They're not just going to win the, this match scoring tries, I don't think. Needs a little bit more than that. But who knows? They've uh, shown a lot of capability. A couple of basic errors creeping into the World Cup team right now. Advantage over. Ship kick there from Ron Maritz. Tell you, Abrams, he's a delightful runner, isn't he? Oh, Beautiful skills, very subtle. Huge tackle there on uh, Nardis Bosman. But they're getting more ball now, dear Manfield, and that's really what's making them a little bit more dangerous. Contest good! Even although the option taking hasn't always been ideal, and it isn't again as they get penalised at the breakdown point. Oli. Oh, it's that man, Luan Tovi. The open south flanker. So Guillermo Mini has got it into touch as far as he wanted to. You can see the assistant referee came running back. <laughs> he was expecting it to have gone a bit deeper. The one great play from the flanker. He got there in as quick as possible, pulvering that ball, turning it over and getting a penalty for his side. That's a ball. Short line out from Nordkarp. Looks like it could work for them. They've got right over that advantage line very quickly. That's a... Uh, the replacement. Use it. That's come after and Walsh. Those are getting a little bit of support there as well. Mini trying to find a gap. He's tried a few times to probe from the far half position. Backwards. Use it. Well, the same energy that we saw from Nordkarp in those first 20 minutes of the first half don't quite seem to be there. On a bit Blue low back. and the confidence gets the missed opportunities and and all the basic errors that have been becoming, creating a bit of doubt in terms of their confidence. Out of blue! Walsh caught in possession. Step, and step. Dear is saying as well, you know, if we concede one or two penalties, it maybe doesn't matter because they're not kicking their goals. So the marginal stuff will take our chances. Play on. Good running from Gerard Holzhausen. Just uh, some recovery work from the number eight. A bit of space on our side. Yep, and again they've got extra numbers. Just quickly through the hands to Leon Becker, who's had few opportunities Backwards. in this match. This is where they're at their most dangerous. A pick up and go and moving the ball very quickly from the yes, breakdown point. Like back line, back! And there it is. Again, it's the long pass. Now they've got a bit of pace on the outside, yeah. Play on. Uh, not accurate at all in that clean. Well, Taking this space of side number five. JD Perry was certainly not holding supporting his own body weight at the breakdown Side. point. He'll be guilty five, of bridging. Blue. But that's not what the penalty has been given for, though. Yes, uh, Jakob Kota says it's offside. See, this is the predicament you find yourself in, Gabani. Like, ideally, should be kicking a goal. But uh, without success there. That was a good, strong White carry open. from one of the flankers. But now... They say he's coming from the offside angle. 
That's a call from Yaki Kotsev. He was not supporting his body weight in that tackle. So he could have pinned him for a lot of That's other indiscretions. But the mall has been good, North Cup. It actually has been good, yep. So there's another opportunity and they've really carried it forward. He has a real chance for them. They must make sure they don't fracture it too early. Just keep driving it forward. Oh, patience is needed. It will be key for them. And down they go. Oh, the referee is in a perfect position. And the try is given. Who scored it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mini over there. And number 11 sneaking in there. Helford Clark got stuck into the wall. <laughs> Probably never practiced with the forwards. Couldn't get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he just found himself in there. Do I, do I he tell? comes in on Helford Clark right at the He's back. He shows a lot of patience. Understanding how a mall works as a winger, he keeps his patience as he sees one of his men has crossed over the line, he dots it down. He's absolutely dwarfed there by his captain Leon Muller, <laughs> the lock forward, <laughs> lying on top of him virtually. <laughs> this gives him a, a one point deficit, a one point behind. And it's going to become for Dimitrio Titis has to get something out of this just to give him the lead come on Demetria stick this over the important one that counts doesn't it often happen oh, just uh, a slight miss pretty much like his first two kicks just drifted away a little bit yeah I saw the other one when he, he called it on miss on the left hand side but this is what made that opportunity for him to go for the kick getting involved they held from Clark not staying on his wing, getting involved in the mall, and he scores the try of the winger. So, Jim Brevet is off the field at the moment. He scrum off with uh, quite a lot of blood in his head. He's just uh, got a bandage there. That's been knocked backwards so they can play on. But that's a knock on, probably. Maybe backwards. <laughs> a knock on backwards. <laughs> Oh, no, they're starting to get their confidence from their tries. In the, in the tackle here, the tap back was from Jacques Nell. And this is where Luan Davi... Oh, you're absolutely right. Went backwards. Yeah, buddy, you're spot on, old chap. It's all the flankers. Guess I've got the number sevens back there. Myself and the referee got it wrong. <laughs> the more important people. <laughs> Interesting setup there with the fullback standing right behind his 10. Will they exploit the blind side? You know, he's such a good runner with the ball, this man. So, uh, lovely little switch there. And he's held onto it now. This is good running, Jaden Swanapool. Eventually he gets brought down. I'll tell you what, Ronaldo Abrams can make such a difference. He's right behind that pack of forwards at the moment. He's in the scrum half position. He didn't want to just play fullback. Oh, his decision making is outstanding. I think he just reads the game so well. He gets into, into good spaces. This is Daniel Finstyle. He's already been credited with a try. I think Swart would like one. Well, it's a bit of a battlefield out there. There's a few players lying down at the moment with injuries. It's pretty physical out here. Two sides, not holding anything back, going at it, playing in the massive stadium. So it's a big occasion for the lads, and they want to—they really show good value for it. I think JD Swanepoel was one of the players down. He's—he's he's back on his feet. He seems to be okay. The car player that uh, might be Gerard Holzhausen. Well, it came from a big carry. From Werner Hursen and a head clash, taking one in the in his head. Well, it's just a little headache, maybe a bit of ice, water. ER is already there. Well, it's a pretty big day for rugby today. There's two big matches on the Sharks at home 
in the Shark Tank against the Cheetahs just before five o'clock. And then a little later this evening, the Southern Kings up against the Bulls in Port Elizabeth. Seven o'clock kickoff there for another Humdinger. Two big matches on a day when you can watch 22 hours out of 24 from nine o'clock this morning of rugby. It's a beautiful world, isn't it? All works out for us. <laughs> well, for the people in Joburg, it does with all the rain they've got. <laughs> So it was a real smack that that uh, Gerard Holthausen got uh, that little clash and yeah it's, it seems it seems his neck's taking a bit of strain and there's a bit of blood coming through his nose to your attention but he's in good hands especially with the box smart education which has been put through the coaching throughout the South African rugby she has to be commended for that all is taking extra care of the players yeah, that's absolutely true, Gabani, and it's so good to see that these days. You see it at all levels, and wonderful. This is at school level as well, where it's really, really important. You've got a young man here who's taken a smack on uh, on his nut, and he's being beautifully treated. You know, sometimes I know that viewers, they see so many medical people around and stretches and all this sort of thing and feel maybe, you know, this is extremely serious injury. It's not necessarily. It's just the way they do it. So... Uh, every precaution is taken oh, all is good for player welfare but the trials from today they've been very great in terms of showing up the space on the outside not cup doing very well ryan devy carrying the ball in two hands i mean good value in terms of taking the ball into the wings still. and scoring and converting the tries and his scrum has been very strong not cup turnover ball the man who's done at the moment Makes a great decision, works, plays with his will, and scores the try. North Cup. Only a point down from Diamantefeld. Well, everybody's clapping, including the uh, both Diamantefeld and North Cup supporters. Gerrit Holzhausen, we wish him well. And hope that he makes a, a speedy recovery. It's uh, important for his team next. Uh, they're off to the Volderklava Festival at Maritzburg College, and I'm sure he'll want to be part of that as well. Fine. Scrum. No angles. Once again, it's a strong scrum from the North Park. The Monfield really haven't looked that secure in the set pieces. Binding. So Pretorius is on for... That's uh, Luan Pretorius, who's on for Gerrit Holzhausen. It's a rare mistake that from the back, Red Carp not finding the touch. This is better from Diamantfeld, using the width of the field, trying to bring their full back in where they can. That ball's been knocked forward. Advantage, not one. That's off, Blue. Red Carp looking to initially to work the blind side. Roll out number nine, Blue. I just wonder over. sometimes about uh, decisions to not commit too many players to a breakdown point. Yeah, eventually, perhaps you, you lose a little bit of your, your strength that you might have um, at disrupting to, at the moment, you might well just stand off a little bit in defensive. Step, step, that step, is step. their defensive pattern. You know, very shallow in terms of the defensive line. They just want to cover the not field with, in terms of people having loads of numbers standing on their feet so they can make strong defensive tackles when they come up but you, you are right it has always been an opportunity to turn over that ball you can see there ryan devy receiving the ball with his hands off the his eyes off, off the ball so we have confirmation about Gerrit Holzhausen, the number eight who's been taken off from the cop and uh, he took a, a little bump on the head and essentially his nose started bleeding so they've taken him off precautionally for that reason. Well, the basic error is starting to come in again against North Cup. They want one point below, below and their kicking hasn't been great so they have to keep that ball so they can convert into tries which is what being the only way that they're getting purchase in terms of what the endeavor is keeping the ball in hand well they want another scrum against the head and he has a chance for them can they hold on yep just a 
Joshua talking, Gabani. It's Hilford Clark who gets his second try of the match. The first from a pushover, this time from a tight head scrum that they won. A brace from the man, Hilford Clark, squaring from where you're supposed to see him on the wing, running a great line. And what a finish, what a celebration, what a dive. Turn over ball, two passes to move it into space. They pick up a great angle, beating the man on the inside, but the way he shifts the ball to the right hand so he can get that hand off. Or, and what a finish from the winger. I think now he's taking up the kick in two. Confidence is up. I'm not so sure that I'm crazy about that cow jump over the moon dive there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to make sure you don't lose the ball. Anyway, he is caught up in the emotion. I'd rather see him just making sure that he gets the touchdown. It's absolutely vital timeline. And, well, when, yeah, when you score two tries, you get a chance to kick a goal. <laughs> so <laughs> here comes Ilford, taken over from Dimitri Titis. That's a beautiful angle. Absolutely spot on. Can the kick be spot on? Well, that's not far off. Maybe five meters onto the field. It was a vital kick there too. The handoff was outstanding. The finish, yeah, still to be desired. You can hurt yourself from doing those. But at least it did score the try. Two tries in the game already for Hilford Clark. I saw a guy pop his shoulder doing that many, many years ago. A big dive <laughs> for a try. He came up with a dislocated shoulder. <laughs> this is Mini. Now suddenly they're full of running again. The ball's been knocked backwards, so they'll play on. I think the referee's got that wrong. Uh, Lux Koza. The creative loose head prop from North Cup carries the ball in two hands, looking for the offload in the tackle. See how he carries the ball in two hands. Yeah, I guess he's unfairly judged there. The hand did come from Dimantoval. And it was Juan Maret, number 13. Big Lux. Enjoy the way he carries the ball. Ball is going on the outside shoulder of the man. Attacks the space. He makes the in that way. He makes the yards. Let's go. Yeah, he's hey. the game up today. He really has. Get your boy. Get back, White. Get back. On the back foot, the man felt. Backwards. 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 Moving backwards. So the man felt going to jolly with that. Now, this penalty is way, way out, but dear Munfeld might want to use territory now. That man, Luan Davi again, never going to let go of going to the breakdown and going for that steal. But a discipline for open side flankers to always to listen to what the referee is playing, and then you can play accordingly. It's absolutely vital that this kick goes out, and certainly Ronaldo Abrams has made sure of that, so they've got the throw in at the line out, dear Munfeld. Ball went backwards, but into that tackle, the flank is right on to the ball. He's never going to let go of that. And uh, maybe his fellas must help him out and tell him the referee's already called hands into the rack. This is better play now, using the width there, and uh, the big number right as well. Shot from Sale. Back line. Okay. <laughs> another penalty. No copper, not back 10 meters. Number five vet, the, the back line of side, and the five the wide of side. For them right now, because the difference is four points, they need to score a try. I think a decision we're going for poles is not a bad idea. Just another infringement in that breakdown gives you a chance to win the game. It does, yeah. I just looked at the clock. I've got my clock, uh, my timing wrong. I thought there were only three minutes left. Men is already over. It's already advancing over before the lineout was gone. The captain, Leon Muller, breaching that line. Yeah, Gabani, if you look at this as well, you know, a, a successful penalty, and he's kicked well today as well. So that's another plus and a positive and a good reason why they should kick a goal. And then perhaps enough time for another opportunity. Yes.
So crucial for Dion van Sal to get. Scope. That's, that's a great kick that from Dion van Sal. Under pressure, vital, vital kick. One point in it. And good to see that Gerard, uh, Gerard Holthausen is uh, out there. They've stopped the nosebleed. Well done, my boy. He's sitting on the bench. He won't come back onto the field. Jevovic, stop! There's a bit side there. That's fine. That's fine. He's better. Better, Royas. So, what will the tactics be uh, of Diamantfeld? Looks like they want to run with it. Well, they've opened up some space again. Suddenly, they really are looking the part, aren't they? Step. We always knew this would be a tight match. Just the one point in it at the moment. Hats off, White! Hats off! Step, step! Left cop very much on the back foot. I don't think it's right, your one. Chance this time for North Cop. Now they've opened up something. This is excellent running here from Dowie. Play on. Just showed a clean pair of heels for a while. Wilford Clark searching maybe for a, a hat trick. He's already got two tries. Well, let's say. Lowen Miller carrying it up. Oh, they've got numbers out wide. It's just got to go through the hole. Oh. Not enough opportunity to do just that. In the interim, Jim Brouvet has come off of what cop has lost his head, headgear. <laughs> He's got a huge bandage. He's just <laughs> flicked off his head. That's a mole. That's off step, Phillips. Step. Well, another try by North Cop will surely seal it. Again, they look dangerous when they've got the ball in hand. There's a little chip kick. Which way does this go? Bounce favoring the amount felt. Uh, sustained pressure, relentless in the attack by Nordkamp. Keeping possession. Just trying to convert that pressure and possession into points. Do we actually have it still? And another injury. Oh, Sarah. Let's go. Oh. Just uh, another injury there this time for Daniel from uh, rather for uh, Billy from Austria. Just his ankle. Maybe they should go for a push over scrum. Yeah, they've been very strong. Okay. North yeah. Cup. They have the pudding. Oh yeah, yeah, they have the pudding. Yeah. Carried over to the five. Carried over by to Monteville. By that man. Jean-Pierre yeah. Abrams. Mark? It's not a bad Lens call, Mark? That, but Mark? nevertheless, either way, you know, if they do get Lens the advantage Lens. they've had now, I mean, they've, they've really, they're all running onto Lens the ball, Lens. even if they Lens. do decide to play it wide, but I would definitely look at that. They've already Lens. two tight ends in their Lens. favor in this match. Stop, Beth! Off this loss. Oh, they can give it a, a hat-trick try to Clifford, to Hilford Clark. Yeah, the left winger. that. Or a captain's try to Lauren Muller. Everybody blue. trying their own little bit. Well, Diamantfeld were offside. There's virtually no time left. They've got to get their hands on the ball, Diamantfeld. But I suppose priority's first is to blue. defend your try line. Well, comes. And it's a try. Two late in Jenzer. And Ginger managed to dot it down before it jumped up or popped out. And that's the fifth try then for North Cop. I mean, no full value in that respect. Just the power of their scrum, power of their forwards, keeping them in the game, hard work in the rocks, picking and going. This man has been the pillar of strength that gets to say in the line outs has been strong. And he finally gets rewarded with his hard work and the, all the hard work of the tight five. And you can see even Dr. Boyce in there celebrating with this man. And high fives all around from North Cup. <laughs> well, we've said it a number of times, not one kick over today. They've missed everything. <laughs> Could this be the first? Back it's with Dimitri Titis. Oh, he's taking the short one. Oh, he 
Yes, he's finally got one over. And that's the end of the game then. And what a game it's been. Woodcock, you can see the elation there. You can just maybe even hear the cheering in the background from there, their spectators. Awesome. It's been a big game for them. Oh, what a game. And they've done very well. Dominate with their forward pack. Scored with their backline players. And it's good to see Gerard Mata celebrating with these players there. Outstanding play. This is Tulani, the man who just scored that winning try for them. Everyone enjoying the time. Great value. Good rugby for schoolboy rugby. And they host up their coach. Why not? Why not? He's played a role. They've played a role, those spectators. But eventually, it was down to the 22 players on the field who uh, managed to pull this right for Nerd Cop. They were full value, won fancies as well, with five tries against one. And that does tell a bit of a story as well. Two tries to Milford Clark, uh, or Hilford Clark, rather, I should say. But it all started with Ryan V with that super try from the fullback position. And eventually, the final scoreline here in Kimberley then, Nordkarp 27, Diamantfeld 27, or rather 19.